Hi, my name is Ian Diaz, and I'm a current student athlete here at UMBC. Uh, a lot of people around the world have their own expectations of college athletes, specifically baseball players, and what they do and how they live their lives. Um, I'm here to talk to some of the current players, as well as show you some of the practices that we have when there's not really an organized practice, and uh, hopefully change some of the opinions. Oh, yes, sir. I'm sitting here with senior catcher Joe Da Vinci. Uh, what made you decide to play college baseball? And what was the main reason that made you fall in love with the game? Um, I decided to play college baseball because um, my dad played college baseball and he was always my coach growing up. So he kind of uh, grew me into loving baseball. So did my brother, my older brother. So it was kind of like um, a known thing that I was going to try to play college baseball from the start. And um, I fell in love with the game just because of like the countless hours spent at the field with my dad and working towards like one goal and trying to play college baseball in itself. So that's it. So this time of year in about mid to late November, practice isn't as organized as normal. And uh, the players have to come out here on a day-to-day -day basis and get their work in on their own. Um, like here, this is senior infielder Matt Clark. He's uh, taking swings off the tee. And on uh, days like today, uh, normally a lot of the players will come out here with a teammate, and this is uh, senior infielder slash outfielder Michael Cilio. I'm here with junior pitcher Gabe Delgado. Uh, my question to you is, what is the most difficult aspect of being a student athlete on a daily basis, and how has your own experience shaped your opinion of this? Uh, I think for me, just like uh, the most challenging thing about being a student athlete is just managing your schedule. Um, you know, you have so many obligations when it comes to like uh, like going to all your classes, um, getting assignments done, and then just like making uh, you know making all your lifts and practices. Um, and like just managing that schedule and then trying to find the time to you know study and uh you know do your homework and like get better at what you're doing in the classroom as well as just like finding time outside of practice to you know work on your game and get better um on the field um but it's de like it's something where like if you're not really passionate about what you're doing it'll definitely be really hard but i'd say the biggest thing uh in my experience is just remembering like like this is what you want to be doing, like this is what your passion is. Um, and then like having that mindset uh, definitely makes it all worth it. And I'd say like being a student athlete is definitely like a really beneficial and fulfilling experience. Uh, so yeah. All right, thank you, Gabe. Also along with hitting uh, players on a day-to-day -day basis need to come out here and also make sure that their arms are still loose. So we have Matt and Michael Soyo. I'm here with junior infielder and outfielder Michael Cilio. Um, my question to you today is, what has baseball meant to you over your life and what lessons have you learned from the sport? I feel like baseball's meant a bunch of different things to me. I feel like discipline is, uh, is definitely one of the bigger things from that. You know, spending close to 15 years now playing baseball, it's, it's a as you would know, it's a grind, so it's a, it's a lot of discipline, you know, staying with the sport. Um, and I think kind of just, you know, loving something this much, like playing baseball this long, I feel like that's taught me a, a, a lot of things in and of itself. Um, you know, so kind of those are the two main things I feel like baseball has definitely taught about me. I hope you all enjoy seeing uh, how some of the current athletes at UMBC uh, live their daily lives and how they feel about the sport that they've played since they were a little kid. and. I hope some perspectives about college athletes has changed through this video.